Hi guys, remember Robert Jenerick? He was the immigration minister when Suella Braveman was in charge at the Home Office. He's the guy who demanded that a Mickey Mouse mural be painted over. Well, he was interviewed by the newspaper that will not be named as part of what I believe is an attempt to boost his chances to become the next leader of the Conservative Party. Jenrick was asked by Harry Cole about his artistic prowess when it came to the institution at the centre of the scandal. Have a listen to this. Did you really paint over a mural of Mickey Mouse in an immigration detention centre? Uh, it did happen. Uh, it wasn't exactly like that. What, what I wanted to ensure, and I still believe this is right, is that not children, but adults, if you break into our country, then that should be treated with all due seriousness. That's a crime. Those places should be places of law enforcement. Of course. Places of law enforcement. This was a reception centre for unaccompanied children. Not a prison, not a detention centre, a reception centre. Now, Robert Jenrick knows this, so why is he lying to the public here? And also this idea that people are breaking into the country. Well, if they're breaking into the country, then obviously they have committed a crime. So why are you not arresting them? Is it because you're lying? Is it because they haven't actually committed a crime? Well, you don't have the resources? Which is it? Because, once again, we, we keep hearing this rhetoric, and unfortunately, there's no pushback from the media. When a politician, usually a Tory MP or minister, says people are breaking the law, people are breaking into Britain, people are entering illegally, then the question has to be, <laughs> what crime have they committed, and why aren't they being arrested? I wouldn't let the Tory MP or minister get off the hook. I wouldn't let them get away with just dismissing that question. I would reinforce that question. I would make sure they answer it. Why are these people not being arrested if they have broken the law? Of course, we should treat... Do you regret, chill, do you regret, treat, the, do you regret the... Yes, yeah. I, yeah, I, I don't want to treat... Notice he says, yes, I'll regret it. Not that he's sorry. He regrets. Regrets what? Because regret could be, I regret... The media response. I regret that people were disappointed. I regret that it got out. <laughs> I regret that somebody leaked this information to the public. Regret what? Because he's not saying he's sorry. He's not saying it was wrong. He regrets it. Children in anything other than a compassionate and fair manner. I was and remain very concerned about the number of adults mm. coming into our country illegally who pose. <sighs> If he truly cared about this, then he wouldn't have ordered somebody. This was not done by accident. This was not, we need to repaint the walls. Oh, you've painted over the murals. Well, you shouldn't have done that. No, he actually went there, saw the murals. It wasn't just one. It was a number of murals. And he said, no, paint over those. I, we need to send a message to the people coming into this country. And what, what is that message? Because he talks about compassion here. Why would you paint over murals? Now, his excuse is, well, because it was a reception center or a detention center for adults. But it was not. A, it was a reception center for unaccompanied children. As children. Remember, most of the people passing through those places uh, when I was there were 17-year-old Albanians, and that is a threat to children, yeah. not uh, something that we should be looking at. All right. Um, 17. But 18 is legal age. Is legal is legally an adult. So technically, legally, they were not adults. They were children. Now, they don't fit the definition, the colloquial definition of children because they're 17. But 17, in most countries, is still a child. 18 is when you are legally an adult. So he's undermining his own position here. So 17, okay, but I presume there were also uh, individuals who were younger than 17. Now, this is all an attempt, once again, and I've said this before, an attempt to appear tough. He wants to be the next leader of the Conservative Party, along with Liz Truss, Suella Braverman, maybe even Priti Patel, Kemi Badenoch. And they know that the Conservative Party, after the election, is going to swing further to the right. Because they're going to blame Rishi Sunak for not being conservative enough, being a socialist, not really caring about conservative values. Too moderate too left-wing. That would be the rhetoric. So they will say, we need to move further to the right. Now, 
there's all there are two ways of looking at this. One positive way is that this will sort of eliminate the conservatives from many uh, of their traditional voters and perhaps new voters. People are going to run in the opposite direction of a far right uh, conservative party. But if Labour really mess up, there's a possibility that a far right party like UKIP or Reform UK or the Conservatives further to the right could be back into power. And that's really concerning. So on the surface, it's looking good if they moved further to the right because they will they will alienate a massive voting bloc. But if Labour mess up, there's a possibility the Tories could be back in after one election. God forbid. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.